The H96P is a really cool projector, portable projector we done a review on just a couple of weeks ago. And in between that time we thought we'd show you guys how to recover it. These aren't cheap, they're quite expensive, so I think this tutorial will come in useful just in case Android becomes corrupted or anything like that. At the end of the day, these things are costed about $150 to $200, which is, you know, quite a lot of money. And if things were to go wrong, I'm sure you guys want to know how to fix it. So, without further ado, I want to show you how to do this. It is a bit tricky. It took us quite a while to figure this out. There's not a lot of information on the internet on how to actually do this, because this is quite unique compared to other analogic devices. And yeah, well, we'll get into that just in a second. My name's Matthew, and you are watching another tutorial by the MXQ Project. So we're going to be using a tool called USB burning tool. This is the recovery tool we use for Amorgic devices. This is an Amorgic device. It's got two gigabytes of RAM, an S95 processor. It's running Lollipop. Now your device might be slightly different. You might have the one gigabyte version of this. You might also have the S95X gig version of this, which is running Marshmallow. Guys, make sure you know which piece of hardware you have got, because if you install the wrong piece, it's going to mess it up totally. So guys, do your research. Make sure you know which one you've got. You don't even install in the wrong firmware on this device. Now, there is a stock version available, obviously, and there's also the Super Celeron version. Now, that is built for this device I've got here, which is a 2 gigabyte of RAM with the 16 gigabytes of memory and the S9 of 5 Amlogic processor. So the stock firmware is running Lollipop. So this Super Celeron one was built for this one. It might not be built for yours. You might have a different version. We've got the same as me, there's a good chance it's going to work, but guys, please make sure you know which device you've got before even thinking about attempting to actually install anything on your device. So make sure you download the image file. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. So if you're confused what an image file is, an image file is just a file that contains the operating system for your device. It's just in a different version you might have heard of zip files for these things. It's just different ways of installing it. This is the way we're going to be doing this on this using USB burning tool and we need an image file for this actual um, installation tool. So let's move on now. Let's install USB burning tool. Again, links will be in the description. So once you've got USB burning tool loaded up, and then you can just choose your language just in the top left hand corner just here next thing we need to do we need to select that image file that you have downloaded so i'm not sure if it's in a zip format or something like that just make sure it's all unzipped ready to go so it should say dot image at the end so dot img and then once you've done that just select import image select that image and then the system will start checking it just to make sure it's all okay now the next thing you need to do is you just need to press start and then that's that part done. Now we need to connect our H96P to our computer. So at this point you will need a USB mail to USB mail cable and make sure that is capable of data transferring. Now once you've done that, stick one end into your PC or laptop and then the other end into your H96P. Make sure that's off, it doesn't need to be on just yet. Then we need to move on to the next part Okay, so here comes the tricky part. Make sure your USB burning tool is loaded up. Make sure you've connected by USB mail to mail cable to the device and your computer. And you obviously you've pressed start with that image file loaded up. Now, locate the reset button. So we're all used to using the reset button with analogic devices. Find your reset button. Don't press it in just yet. Now we need to turn the device on. As you can see, I've turned it on. We've got this blue screen and it says smart home projector. Now, what you might have noticed through time of using it, that it flickers just quickly between that image and it brings it back again. So as you can see on screen, that flicker there. So in between that flicker, you need to click your reset button. Now we find if you click the reset button just slightly too hard, it doesn't do it properly. So what you've got to do is you've got to be so gentle, you just got to tap it and hopefully that will just initiate the USB burning sequence and it should start burning. Any other way, we've just, we just couldn't get it to work. You know, the normal way, we've just hold and reset button, connect the USB 
cable and away you go it doesn't seem to work like that with our device at least yours might be slightly different yours might just be the your old traditional way you're holding the reset button connect the usb cable and it should just connect to usb button until i'm not entirely sure this is our hardware doing it so it's either unique to us or it's unique to this particular motherboard we're not entirely sure that is the way we're doing it. so to go over that again make sure everything's connected usb burning tool is connected you uh, your mail to mail cable is connected into your pc into your device you turn it on and then hold it down while you're holding the actual power button down it flickers between these two screens so it flickers between the smart home projector so turns off very quickly and it comes back on again in between that flicker you need to click your reset button hopefully that should work for you so my name is Matthew and I hope this tutorial has helped you either reinstall stock firmware or get using Supercell Euron's firmware or just in general get your device working again. Come over to our website msqproject.com, reviews, tutorials over there. Check us out on Twitter at msqproject as well as at Facebook as well. All the links will be in the description. Thanks for watching guys and we shall see you in the next one.